Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming to my channel, D vs. Debt. This is D. It's Money Monday and I actually wasn't going to record today. I was going to be lazy and leave it until Wednesday because I have a group project with a new group, new project, and I was just busy stressing with that and being in a funk over that. However, I just went to the post office and there was the world's biggest Happy Mail box sitting there waiting for me in the locker. And oh my goodness, you guys, <gasps> I'm blown away. So this giant box is from Chris at Budgeting Just Because. It's so big that I don't think I can fit it. Let me try. Yeah, nope, it doesn't fit. Here's our little card in frame. However, just to ship, let me try to give you an idea of the dimensions. Just to ship this box, was a ridiculously expensive amount. So, of course, my Catholic guilt instantly went up in flames. So I was driving home, kind of making that face like Brad Pitt in the movie Seven, like, what's in the box? <laughs> like, like totally upset, because it's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she spent that much just to ship it. And, ah, oh, I'm feeling guilty. So, Chris, oh my goodness, you're amazing. You didn't have to do that. Thank you so much to y'all. As I was unpacking, because I have no self-control, I was unpacking all the goodies in the box and I was laughing and smiling. And the last thing I took out of the box was actually broken. However, it was my absolute favorite thing and I laughed so hard that I'm pretty sure everybody in the neighborhood heard me. So first of all, she sent, look how beautiful this card is. Oh man, it's just like chef's kiss. So it says, thank you. She had some really, really sweet words in there. And she included a debuck and she's like, I'm sorry, all I could find was one debuck. And it's like, oh my gosh, you know, you don't have to send debucks. It's, it's so sweet that you did that though. And so she said, but I wanted to send you some of my favorite snacks that her and Minnie Me enjoy. And then she made a joke about, you know, like that way I'm not eating all those crazy foods. <laughs> like I showed you in my recipe for making basically like peanut butter, ramen, Dollar Tree shrimp you know, stir fry kind of thing that, yeah, I survived. I didn't get food poisoning and it was tasty, but <laughs> she's like, here, eat some other stuff instead. So let me go ahead and show you what she gave. And so you're gonna probably hear a lot of crinkling as I dig around in this giant box. Like literally I could fit my pets in this box. It's huge. So it started off as an Easter extravaganza, which is so adorable. I'm probably going to hurt myself trying to play this, you know, like, what is it, paddle ball? <laughs> so that's so cute. This, I'm going to try to get a picture of my corgi wearing it because the cat will not let me dress him up. But my little dog, once in a while, plays along and lets me put stuff on her and take pictures. There were some really cute little Easter notepads. So adorable. So a blank ones. Oh my goodness, so cute. And then little orange jelly beads and a carrot. I mean, how cute is that? And then a little bunny, a little bunny chick. So like you wind it up, see if it'll hop around. <laughs> so that's absolutely awesome. Thank you, Chris. So that's the first round. That's the Easter stuff. And this absolutely amazing pen was in there. It's a mermaid tail. Definitely gonna use the heck out of that. I love that, they're so gorgeous. And then this cute little candle, it says neon guava. I did take a sniff and I might try again to have a candle burning in my background as I do videos, but I'm just so nervous about lighting myself or my money or something on fire. That actually smells yummy. Ah, that's good. So, yay. Let me see the next thing. I am absolutely thrilled about. So, this is like a notepad. However, it zips around. So, that I think is just the coolest thing ever. And then it has a little notepad in there. But I'm trying to figure out how to turn this into a cash envelope wallet. So, it slides into here. And this is what's holding it in. So I was already eyeing it and being like, ooh, how can I turn this into a wallet system? But this is so cool and the colors are beautiful. And I just find that so satisfying that it zips shut. Like, how very cool is that? And it matches 
like everything going on back here. And then this next one, exact same thing. This is also a wristlet. And I don't like big purses. I actually carry wristlets, so this is so perfect. Um, so I don't know if I've mentioned that, but she totally nailed it. Then in here, I could fit my phone because I have an iPhone mini, so it's little. Snap it into place. Same thing, zips around. And this would totally hold a bunch of cash envelopes. So I think that's just really, really cool. And then me being me, I was like, ooh, I could put stickers on the back of this. So totally awesome. Very, very cool. So that's round two. Round three is the edible stuff. So first of all, I've never eaten Swedish fish. I love all things gummy, like gummy bears, gummy worms, all that stuff are like comfort food for me, but I've never eaten Swedish fish. And I'll confess the reason why is for whatever reason, I think, do they taste like black licorice? I don't know why I got that idea in my head, but that's the only reason why I've been scared to try them. But definitely trying these now, so thank you, Chris, because these actually remind me of a friend. We've lost contact over the years, but this was one of his favorite snacks, and so I think of him. The next thing that I've never tried before are hot fries. Never had this. So looks absolutely delicious because corn and potato can't go wrong. It's spicy, love all things spicy, so that's awesome. My mouth is watering already with these, the sunflower seeds. I am addicted to pumpkin seeds, but sunflower seeds are, are very close second place. So these are both delicious. I can eat a whole bag in one sitting, which my mouth is not happy about, but my taste buds are like, oh yeah. Then she sent hot and spicy shrimp ramen. <laughs> so this is the, I think her alternate for that dish that I made with all the expired and Dollar Tree stuff. <laughs> then she sent a three pack of Marushan. So the chicken flavored ramen delish. So this will be good in the middle of like a studying frenzy or crying frenzy while I'm working all day on a project. I just finished a project that took about 20 hours, no exaggeration. That was just one project that was due last week. I had to do several other things as well. So delicious. And then this, oh my goodness. I'm so in love. I have not tried these and I am so thrilled. <laughs> and Chris obviously knows me very well because the Flaming Hot and Mac and Cheese together, that's like the perfect marriage right there. So I can't wait to try this. This is so yummy. So that's what is it, round three with all the food. So yum, 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 yum. I'm having trouble keeping myself from drooling as I speak. And then my very favorite thing, this is the last thing, and unfortunately it came broken, but I'm gonna toss the glass and it is going right up on the wall. <laughs> so it says, it's a beautiful day to leave me the heck alone. So this is so me. I'm the world's biggest introvert and my happy place is being at home. And then I get grumpy. If people are very like needy and are constantly messaging and calling and stuff like that, that actually makes me grumpy. Like, I love you, but let me love you from a distance. Like, come on. So <laughs> this is so perfect. Um, yeah, I'm definitely one of those people that likes to be left the heck alone. Even though I love people, I'm super friendly, I definitely enjoy like my space, my time. So this is so awesome. It's gonna go right up on the wall and I'm gonna crack up every time and I'll be thinking of you each time I look at it, Chris. So thank you so very much for this amazing package. Lifted me right out of that Monday funk. So this just made me feel so special and you don't have to. So again, my Catholic guilt is just going bananas right now. But thank you so much for your generosity and your kindness and for thinking of me with all this stuff. So funny and so sweet. All right, so because it is Monday, we're gonna go ahead and stuff my cash envelopes. I was thinking of combining it with Wednesday, so I was thinking of doing three videos a week so that it's basically a video every other day because the back-to-back -back videos, like the Sunday Savings Challenges and the Money Monday, 
it's pretty dang hectic. It takes up a lot of time and I, with school and everything, it's becoming a bit much. So I might combine like cash envelope stuffing and my money moves on Wednesday together. So let me know what you think about that. All right, so my usual 100, I was able to do it this week, thank goodness. If it's a bad week money-wise, then you'll see the number shrink. If it's a good week, then you'll see the number get bigger. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, $100 is what I'm working with. All right, so let's go ahead and get going. The very first envelope that I always stuff is VET. So I'm only putting $5 in here because there's a couple of categories that I'm gonna be super aggressive with and the rest I'm basically like neglecting this week because this week is the that Avenue Street Fair, that giant street festival with crafts and uh, planner meetups. So you'll see those get stuffed, um, th those particular envelopes. So for five for VET, then I've got my 500 in my Ally Bank and then 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So $140 for a vet emergency or vet visit goes into here. Car gets a five. I think I'm gonna make a $500 placeholder so that I don't have all these 100 placeholders. So one, two, three, four, five, 600 is in the bank. And then here I got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So 625. Thankfully no car problems, no pet problems. My cat looks like he's feeling better this week, thank goodness. So giving, I am gonna give a lot of money in this category because I've got a couple of birthdays coming up. So two April birthdays in the first couple of weeks of April. So I've got to buy a couple of uh, presents. And what am I doing? Ah, okay, yeah. So 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53. So 53 goes into give. Next week I'll probably be aggressive with it again. That way I have enough money for a couple of gifts, because usually I shoot for about $25 a gift. So we'll see about that. Oops, I'm only putting in five because I'm being aggressive with uh, two envelopes this week. So 20, 30, 35, 40. However, full transparency, I might take this money with me to that street festival in Tucson. And I might be like, oops, I found a really cool birthday present here at this craft show. <laughs> I'm going to use the money for that. So if this envelope is empty next week, that's exactly what happened. I spent it at the fair. Home is only going to get five. I bought three plants for the hummingbirds to hang like in pots around the backyard. So I went to Home Depot and apparently everybody in the rest of the world was there as well with the same plan, wanting to buy plants. So slim pickings, unfortunately. So I need to go back and find some more. So I did spend almost $30 on basically like pollinator flowers. So 10, 15, 20, 21. I might go back and on my way back from Tucson and buy, you know, a couple more plants on the way back. I was actually watching the insects as I was picking out the plants. So I, there was a hummingbird moth that was going bananas for a certain kind of plant, so I bought that. There was a hummingbird actually like attacking another plant, but I couldn't afford that. That one was like $30 just for that one. So I was like, oh, sorry, buddy. But at least now I know that's like a, a plant to save up for. All right, Betho's gonna get $10, and after this week, I think I can stop stuffing this because usually 50 is what I shoot for when I ask them to come over to help. So it's 20, 30, 40, 50. So that means that next week I can allocate the money to other envelopes. I was actually talking to him this morning. He's got some yellow irises that are sprouting and he wants to thin it out because there's too many. So he's like, would you like them? And of course, you know, we have that deal. Like you give me all the plants you don't want. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to having yellow irises. Right now I just have purple in my yard. 
Yum! Gets no money because I'm trying to be good, even though I should set some money aside for the street festival because there's always amazing food there, like really good caramel apples with all kinds of crazy toppings, bacon lemonade, weird things like that that I love to try, um, Indian fry bread, so, so, so tasty. But I'm trying to be good and lose weight, so wah, wah, wah. So I'll leave that sad and empty. Taxes, I'm putting aside $5 every single week to cover my tax bill when I go to the H&R guy. So this is the third week, which means I've got 15 bucks. So if I keep doing this and being consistent with $5 a day, I'm sorry, $5 a week, I'll have $260 in a year. And that's usually about how much the bill is, even though I'm sure next year is gonna be a lot more. Cause I've got, you know, I'll start getting YouTube paychecks. I've got Etsy paychecks now. So more stuff for him to input into the computer and every single item is another charge. So it'll probably be more than 260, but at least this will soften the blow of having to cough up all that money to have my taxes done. All right, Happy is gonna get $30. Mucho dinero, woo, lots and lots of money because again, 60 is just for gas to go to Tucson this weekend. So as you're gonna see, I've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So 60 goes to gas, that leaves me only $10. But again, if I spot something at the festival that I just think is gonna be a perfect gift for either of the birthdays coming up, then I'll have the oops money, my unbudgeted you know, money that I'm gonna use for that. And then I would start rebuilding that one again. All right, community is gonna get the last of what I have left. So it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Trying to build this up as well. I'm waiting for a couple of Etsy orders that I had placed from different people. So I'm excited to show that to you. But I'm building this up for Dina at Pretty Productive when she opens her, reopens her Etsy shop. Uh, April 1st is what she's shooting for. So I'll show you guys that haul when that comes in. So 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 is in community. YouTube, I spent some for um, mail. So I've got $6 left and I will be sending out a few more things this week. So that'll come out of here. Etsy, I did purchase some supplies. And so I have $7 left, as well as you know the $2 lucky placeholder here, as well as in my YouTube envelope, but I don't count those into my total because those don't get spent. But these $7 I'm not gonna add to this week and I'm probably not gonna spend because I haven't had time with school to make stuff and list stuff. So that's kind of in limbo right now. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And again, Chris at Budgeting Just Because, thank you so, so very much for your amazing package. Totally blew me away, made my day, made me laugh, made me get all mushy hearted. So thank you so much for thinking of me and being so generous with your gift and your love. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have a great day.